Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve. I am here at my local Walmart to do some grocery shopping, but I'm unsure what I may find in here. I have gotten reports that the shelves are pretty bare, so I don't know what it's looking like. I don't know what I find. Um, I know everybody is in a panic over the coronavirus and everything, so I'm going to go in here, see what I get, and I will um, show y'all what I was able to find in my grocery haul so stick around and and see what I can find in all of this craziness that's going on I have no this is all the tissue paper that they have in Walmart do y'all see how empty the shelves are this is crazy on how people are stocking up on all of the toilet paper even the paper towel owl is empty. Like, why? Why is so much of this stuff missing? This is crazy. Like, why is, is everybody stocking up on toilet paper and paper towels? Luckily, they still have the milk. They are not out of the milk product. All right, this is the ground beef. And it looks like they are out of a lot of the ground beef. So, I don't know what I can do. I gotta find something. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy this expensive ground beef chuck because they do not have the cheaper ground beef. And I was only able to find this little small package of ground beef that I normally get that was hidden. Check out the vegetable selection. A lot of it is gone. This is the beans, and a lot of folks have cleared out the beans and the rice. And over here, a lot of macaroni has been cleared out as well. This is crazy. Never seen anything like this before. Even a lot of the spaghetti sauces are gone. This is the canned good owl. Look at how empty this is. This is empty. I wonder if they have any bread. I haven't got to that owl yet, so we will check and see here in a little bit. Here's another chef that's bare. Flour. Flour is very limited here, as well as the sugar. That's all the sugar that they have left really empty in here this is what the bread is looking like it's empty as well this is the peanut butter owl they have some but not much even the shredded cheese is missing it's really light not a whole lot of the shredded cheese left as well these people really have came in here and gathered up a lot of things check this out this is all the eggs that they have left a lot of their bacon is gone as well they don't have much left and this section is where all the wipes used to be and do y'all see this all the wipes are gone as well even all this stuff is gone I don't need anything here and this is not grocery items but I came over here for an item and I just noticed that this is bare along with a lot of your body soaps. It's also missing. And Q-tips. They have none. They have no Q-tips at all. Even the mouthwash. They've came and got up a lot of the mouthwash as well along with a lot of the toothpaste is missing and a lot of the deodorant products is missing people are really stocking up this is really crazy that's going on this whole coronavirus thing is really crazy anyway this is everything that's in my basket and i'm fixing to check out and i will show y'all what i have and how much all of this stuff costs 
once I get home. I'm back from Walmart and this is everything that I got on my grocery haul. So let me tell you everything that I have. I got some bread. I got some, some power aids. I got a couple six packs of Coke, which these are still on sale for $2.68. I got two six packs of water. I got some milk. I got some juice. This is for my son. I got a couple cans of corn. The vegetables were limited because the shelves were empty on the vegetables. I got a can of green beans. I got a package of hamburger meat, which I normally don't get this hamburger meat, but the hamburger meat that I normally get, they were out. Uh, I got some bananas, tomatoes, shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, ground beef. I got some turkey, lunch meat. I got a package of chicken breast tenderloins and a package of chicken wings. I got some spaghettis because I plan on cooking spaghettis this week. I got some Lunchables, five of those. I got some paste salsa for my taco salad that I plan on cooking this week as well. I have two packages of taco seasoning, two ragu spaghetti sauce for the spaghettis that I'm going to cook this week as well. I have some Star Crunch junk food. Got to keep my junk food around here. Ritz crackers, which my son loves, and he just eats them plain like they are. I got a package of chips for my taco salad. Another bag of chips. And I have some Pringles for my son. And that is everything that I have on my grocery haul. So I'm going to tell you all how much I spent. This is some toilet paper that I had purchased earlier um, this morning before I had went to work. Due to the shortage, yes, I did stock up on the toilet paper. And this is how much I got. And I spent a little over $20 for the toilet paper. So how much did I spend at Walmart? I spent a total of $80.97, which is not bad feeding a family of three. And even though the shelves was bare at Walmart, um, I still was able to get quite a bit of stuff to feed my family, which is not bad. But anyway, that's all we have. Um, thank y'all for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe to my channel. And y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.